there's a wine bottle here. Hi, Walt. It's hotter than the devil's armpits outside. <laughs> no kidding. Though I, I was gonna thought I was gonna melt. I need a little early to be breaking out the wine. What are you smiling for? It's all done. What is? You mean you finished your book? Yup. But that's that's wonderful. Why didn't you? The publishers already gave me the green light. I sent them the initial chapters. I don't want to jinx anything before it sets in stone, but they're saying the folks from Metro Silver Mayor are interested. Might even turn it into a motion picture, they said. Just imagine, starring Clark Gable. I thought he quit acting. Then Harry Cooper? Who cares? That's not the gosh darn point. Hollywood, Laura. You're right. I'm sorry. Oh, Walter. I'm so happy. Good for you. Good for us, sweetheart. Can the wine, Walt? Uh, can the wine wait a little? I'll get to fixing us a real nice supper. How about you cook us up that stick of stick you know I love? Stick steak? I honestly didn't expect it. For a moment it felt as though everything could change. It was a flash of hope. Walter publishes his novel, and we return to New York, to our apartment on 12th Avenue. It is as if we never left, and life goes back to normal again. How is it going? Ready. Coming right up. That will be our last supper together. Ooh. I told him I was leaving. What? Told him I knew about Margaret. Oh. Told him I couldn't live like that anymore. Walt didn't seem to be broken up about it. You're making a big mistake. He said. Mouth full of steak. I feel like, for the first time in my life, I actually do something right. That night, I couldn't sleep. The storm ended just as suddenly as it started. The weather cleared up. The clouds disappeared and the stars glimmered in the sky. It was the kind of thing you could only see out on a farm. I dreaded the thought of what I could have done, but I didn't, luckily. Huh? I decided not to take our scar saving. Eh? Instead, I just found a new wedding ring and bought a bus ticket out to the West Coast to California. Oh my god, no! The land of the devil. I got a younger brother who lives there. Though we ain't seen each other for years, like a pioneer or some character from a standard moment, or the thousands who fall victim of the Great Depression, I had no idea what was waiting for me. I reckon some would condemn me for what I did. Maybe others will tell me it's too late to start over, that there's no use in running away from who you are, that you can or not outrun fate. But I say to hell with them. It's never too late to start living. I knew it wouldn't be easy, but I truly felt like there was a new beginning ahead of me. 
Who are you trying to fool? Yourself maybe? A new beginning? Well said. But it wasn't like that at all, Loretta. You know that. He's talking with his mouth. This thing is delicious. Last time I read this good was back in the Big Apple. You barely thought your I ain't hungry. Well I ran into Margaret today. That ginger bitch. Did you? Declare declare she's true. Um so how was she? Fatter than when I was last saw her if you ask me. Think so? Not like I want to talk. I've certainly let myself go. But think about what it's like to be in her shoes. The old door's been all alone ever since Clarence brought the plan to the farm. It's gotta be hard for her, and you. He points his fork at her. As a woman, as a woman, how I empathize with her a little more. A wall. Oh, and that's why you choose to soothe the creepy widow? Drama, drama, drama. What? What's that supposed to mean? You know exactly what that's supposed to mean. I already told you. It's over. You must think I'm dumber than a box of rock. What are you trying to achieve here, huh? Why can't we just celebrate? Enjoy a nice supper. Like ordinary civilized folk. I'm fed up with your tricks, Walter. Fed up with you treating me like shit. Fed up with lingering in this godforsaken dump. With all the races and whores. Nobody forced you to move out here, Loretta. Listen, I know you blame me for what happened to you, John. Nice fucking summer. You just couldn't help yourself, could you? Why do you need to bring this shit up again? Why now? What is with you today? No, you're right. Let's just keep it bottled up inside. I'll hush. I'll be a good housewife. And you can keep fucking around with that ginger slut. Then everyone will be happy. Enough! I'm not listening to this shit anymore. And if you must know, I do. I do blame you. Oh, finally. The brave man comes out and says it. I've read the police report. You're such a hypocrite. Laura, I had no idea you could be so full of crap. I've read the... <laughs> well? Choking or something? Did we actually poison him? Walter looks like he's trying to say something, but only the sound of gurgling can be heard as he slowly chokes to death. He chokes! He chokes to death! Shit. I must admit it. I don't like it when people say honestly or to tell you the truth. It always gives the impression that they've all been shamelessly lying to you up till that point. But there's something transcendental about murder, something beyond our understanding. Despite how regular and natural it seems, otherwise, why else would anyone do it? Oh, don't accuse a woman of being a liar when she doesn't know how to be honest with herself, still born like my first child, like a poet who spe speaks no languages, like a deaf blind and mute person in a world of sound, color, and science. I won't reach the truth with words. They can't give it shape. There's one truth I know, though. Walter is dead. I woke up with an awful pain.
spreading through my whole body. It came in waves, like one blow after another. One eye was all swollen and watery. It felt like it was gonna burst. Hell, I wanted it to burst. Not that it happened, no one. No, the pain was focused somewhere else. When I opened my eyes, first thing, first thing I saw was a crooked, rusty nail. Oh! Sticking out of my foot, I know it. Went right through my own skin. So I took it free. I took it free. Son of a bitch. I was ready to help. Ready to scream at the top of my damn lungs. But I thought Master was a whimper thought. It was like the top of that metal nail was smiling up at me like some cheese I'll cut. Okay, one more try. Stay calm. Breathe. Come on, Lord, focus. Oh, fuck. Shit. Goddamn forge. Goddamn nail. Why couldn't you hammer it in like I asked? What the hell is wrong with you, Walter? Trying to make it easier for me to finish you off? Hell, why am I even asking you? And like you ever knew which end of the hammer to use anyway? That is some wicked irony, right? Oh lord, I can see rust stuck in the wood. Damn. Ugh, I had no time to dwell on that now. Alright, one more time. Again, come on! The gaping wound stared back at me, an awful blood red gash. Last night felt like a bad dream, about to fade into memory. But still, my ripped up, muddy dress, my aching leg, the puddle of my own vomit, they all suggested otherwise. I need to get rid of those reminders as soon as I can. I'm gonna be sick. So our husband choked on his own foot and then we threw him to the well. Okay, let me change. Bingo. I knew you were here somewhere. What's that? A long time ago too expired, should I? What is it? Medicine? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Now get rid of this dress, okay. Ripped dress. Who the hell could that be? Oh my god, no, it's the bitch. Ah! Laura! You look like you've seen better days. What happened? Mind calling out Walter for me? <sighs> what do you need him for? Train home. Well, they here. Ain't here? That's odd. How long is gonna be out for? I ain't his secretary. But <laughs> you're his wife. He doesn't tell me anything. Margaret puts on a puppy dog face with her big beautiful hazel eyes. It softened Lorita's heart a little. When I didn't see him this morning, I thought he'd run away with you. So you, you know? And about you and Walter? Come on, Margaret. I ain't blind. Uh, uh, let's be aggressive. I, I don't know. I, I think let's just let's just make sure. Don't worry, I don't hold grudges, especially not against someone like you. Really? Margaret faced back into a silly smile. Silly smile? The affair was eating her up inside, but Loretta's words seemed to lift the heavy load from her heart. Still, Loretta couldn't help but think. If a few nice teeth was all it took, the load couldn't have been that happy to begin with. 
There's no such thing as wrongdoing, Margaret. Only doing. Hand on my heart, I ain't got no clue where he's gone. His damn suitcase ain't even here. You know, Walter. Maybe he got himself in hot water again. Or maybe he's just run off and left us both behind. Who can tell? Or I... I don't know what to say. I best get going. Well, that could've gone better. Probably still could have gone worse too. At the very least, I bought myself some time. Time to come home, uh, time to come to my senses, consider, think. Margaret may not be all that smart, but she knows how to play dirty. Bitches up to no good, plain and simple. It's just a matter of time now. Alright, now for the manuscript. I it ought to be in the study. I need to find my script first. What in the same hill? Sounds like it's coming from the kitchen. Why is it all dark in here? My food hurts. Where's that sound coming from? Where's the lamp? Smells wretched as all get out down here. Life's making weird noises. This ain't the first time. But Walter would usually take care of it. It just ain't my day. <coughs> A portrait of Walter's mother, Edna. It's covered in dust. A tag on the jar says, Shikari Root. It's a decent, decent coffee substitute when you're out of money. I don't know where this hole came from, or where it led, but I ain't in a hurry to find out. A steel bar, okay. What? What is wrong? Phew, that should do it. <laughs> Just by whacking it up? Okay. I rarely stepped out into stepped foot into Walter's study. Everything here just as it was yesterday. An up you know, an open bottle of bourbon and that old beat up typewriter. Sheets of paper tied in a ribbon lie next to it. Chapter of Strollbull. The rest of the manuscript should be in the safe. An open envelope lay next to it. It's an informal letter on, on official looking paper. Certified by a secretary. Dear Mr. Harris, Walter, the bull is a positively sensational. Although I do believe you should give the title some consideration, I can say with a shadow of doubt that this is your best work yet, and I'm only halfway through reading it. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I already spoke to Thompson at MCM and they want to talk. I'm really glad that you are back in business, my friend. Send me the rest, uh, send me the rest as soon as it's re ready. The contracts are drafted. There's just a couple of formality left. Yes, I already offered the cover designs. You're gonna love them. Sincerely, Jerry. Stamp Gerald Foster Schaefer, Atlantic Press Publishing House. They were waiting. Details had been negotiated. Contracts signed. They just need a little push, was all. I made myself comfortable in the letter desk chair. Adjust the carriage and began typing. Dear Mr. Schaefer, I regret to inform you that my husband, Walter Harris, has gone missing. It's possible something may have happened to him, or perhaps he simply ran out of his love-deprived wife. His reasoning is beyond me. I'm writing because you were interested in Walter's latest manuscript, Strobel. Strobel. By coincidence, the manuscript currently sits in my possession. The original. There are no copies. I've assumed you that you are a busy man, so I'll cut to the chase. As far as I know, your company has taken out a life and insurance policy on Walter. Due to this extraordinary development, I must ask that you send a check with that amount applicable in the event of his passing. If you wish to see this manuscript in its entirety, despite my disagreement with Walter, 
I am convinced that readers and fans of this talent should not be deprived of his latest masterpiece. I will send the manuscript today and check this museum, as I understand that it rightfully belongs to you and your club, which has done so much for our family. Yours faithfully, Loretta Lou Evans. My name is William Henry Carter. Been this contest series for the last three years. Early in the morning of August 12, 1947, I got a call from the Harris farm. Mrs. Harris claimed that her husband, Mr. Harris, had gone missing. Walter, ma'am, 45. And how long have the two of you been married? 16 years. Has he? Uh, the sheriff chokes back the urge to vomit. For the sake of decency, Loretta pretend not to notice. Pardon me, has Walter gone missing before? No. Did we, this be the first time? But what? Hot damn. Get worse every time. Feel like my head is about to explode. Well, if you throw back two full battles of by yourself, what did you expect? Not one battle, not a battle and a half. Two fucking battles, dear. I wonder if she can smell the booze in my breath. What am I saying? Of course she does, jackass. Woman always smell this shit. Who let you trap an old girl? What? Our sheriff is an alcoholic. When was the last time you saw Walter? Oh uh, uh, yeah. When exactly did you notice that Walter was missing, ma'am? Yesterday morning. I thought he'd gone to the city at first, but the car was still parked by the house. Then evening rolls around and he still ain't back. So I called you today. Uh, the what is the Loretta standing there, arms folded, staring you down like she's fixing to ask you a question, or simply challenge your authority. What a dish, though. Younger than you, but not by much, I reckon. And she got great ass to boot. So, writer, huh? Can you say you're surprised, Bill? A loser like you can never score a damn like her. You got a queer look in her eyes, though. Figures, considering her man just took off. Poor girl. What is this? This is like a stain. Can't quite tell what it was. This house but has seen better days, that's for sure. Got an odd smell to it, too. Ugh, better not puke in front of her. Catch you by surprise there, Sunshine. This ain't a house, it's a shack. That must be why the guy took off. But look who's talking. You live in a trailer, you jackass. You used to be pilot, a hero. Where are all the heroics now, Billy Boy? Drowning hooch is where they are. Ugh, maybe I should ask her for a painkiller? Nah, better not. It's all clear as day. Or is it? Something ain't right. You really need this right now. You better sleep it off in the car. Give it a couple hours at least. There's always the hair of the dog. Nah, I'll just grab a bowl of soup or something. But no, I ain't the time for pondering soup. What are you staring at me like that for, sweetheart? You think fin you think finding a missing person's a piece of cake? Expecting me to pull him out of my head or something? As if you could stand to carry a couple of sins slicker around. Only things you got good for, Billy, is lugging around a hip flask. Well, well, to hell with all that. Was Walter acting suspicious? Tell me, ma'am. Was Walter acting strange at all? Did he do anything unusual before he disappeared? 
proposal. Nothing that comes to mind. Do your children live with you? Ain't got no children. No children, no husband, no job. If you're not careful, you'll be three for three years out. You dumb drunk. Got no kids, nor any wife to speak of neither. What about Maggie? Your Maggie? Margaret? Nah, Maggie's a different type of road. Alright, cowboys, straight your brain. Just a couple more questions, then we can wrap up this side show. Did Walter have any health conditions? You trying to imply he's crazy? Well, no sir, my husband's in his right mind. Well, was he in the military? Yeah, he was. But he never did like talking about it. Said he spent two years on a boat. Somewhere. Out in the Philippines writing propaganda. At least that's my understanding of it. You know, pamphlet about Hitler, Hirohito and me, the like. I choose not to pry any deeper than that. I see. So this is Walter's study. Yeah, he spent most of his days in here. The sheriff snips. Has anything changed since he went missing? Hard to say. What about family? My family? No, my, your husband's. Ah, uh, well. He has a sister's offer in New York City. Can't say we've ever been all that close. Don't you suppose you have her number? I'm afraid I do not. The service mouth curves into a deep frown. May I ask what happened to your leg? Oh, you like something to drink? Can we poison this guy? Let's poison the drunk. Let's just try, okay? I'm curious. Excuse me, ma'am? Would you like a drink? We've got a bourbon. I even have some whiskey left. No, ma'am. Thank you, but I'm still on duty. Did Walter take anything with him when he left? A photo, or maybe a postcard? Do you know if anything's missing from the safe? Oh no, Walter keeps his manuscripts in there. He didn't take those with him? I ain't sure, don't know the combination. Hmm. Did Walter keep up any extensive correspondence with anyone? Any that you're aware of at least? Or maybe someone you just learned of recently? Well, Walter spoke with his publishers, of course. Probably to some other writers as well, and his old war buddies, most likely. What if I take a look at the letter? This one? Stick the letter open. Pass him on that boy. Stick the letter open in his throat, really? No, that's so. Pass him on that Sheriff carefully studies the envelope. You should read them. Might offer you some clarity. Alright, Mrs. Harris. I'll be frank. The chances us of finding Walter are pretty slim. It's more likely he'll reappear by himself when he's ready. I have to admit, this short that thing happens from time to time. Sometimes folks just get a little overwhelmed. They run away from that, creditors, wives, without realizing they can't ever run away from themselves. Well, I appreciate your wisdom, Sheriff, but what happens now? I'll get to contacting the local precinct in the meantime. Then the nearest hospitals, uh, the mall. It's a big country. Your husbands could be anywhere, ma'am. Forgive me. I know this is a difficult subject, but I have to ask. Did you and Walt have any fights before he, left, he went missing? I wouldn't say so, but things have been pretty rough. Let's just give him half truth. You know, I think Walter and I might have gone to the same school. Only got one school around here, so it ain't all that surprising. Was there anyone else? he was in contact with around here. Any friends or neighbors? 
enemies even. Someone I could talk to. No sir. At least not that I'm aware of. Does that thing still work? By the by. What? The well behind you there. Uh, no, it's all dry out now. Mind if I take a look? No! Sure is dark. I wonder how deep it goes. You know, if you ain't using it. Then that be grounds for getting fined. What? You better ask someone to board. I wait. What was that? Oh shit! Is that a rat? What? Sure, it's a meaty one. Look at that. He's trying to climb his way out. That fellow's braver than all get out. Suckers breed faster than rabbits. So I recommend buying some rat poison or something. Probably got yourself a right mess down there. You got anyone around that can help you, ma'am? I can sense my voice to you if you don't. They'll brought it up for you in no time. Thank you, sir. I can handle it myself. 